hey everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is ari i'm a taurus sun cancer rising aquarius moon and the light path number seven if you're not new here thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further it does mean a lot to me please make sure to like comment and subscribe before you do leave this video especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading so today everyone i'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my capricorns who are watching so if you have capricorn as your sun moon rising venus or anywhere in your chart then this reading may resonate or apply to you so capricorn your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now you two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another just whoever in your heart is your person that's your person and you'll know before I do go ahead and get into your reading Capricorn, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for the sign of Capricorn, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Alright Capricorn, so let's get into your reading. First we're going to pull some situations, oracle cards to see what energy you're dealing with currently when it comes to love. All right, let's see what we have for Capricorn, please, when it comes to love. What energy do we have? We have hamster wheel, surviving daily hustle. All right, what else do we have for Capricorn when it comes to love? What energy do we need to be aware of? Let's see what we have for Capricorn, please. Crushed, sad, broken, feeling alone. Let's give one more card, please, for Capricorn. Projected, future days, weeks, months. All right, Capricorn. So please keep in mind that any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I'm describing um, from you or your person, the roles could be reversed. Just however, this reading resonates for you. And also, not everything has to resonate out of this reading for you, Capricorn. But let's get started. We have Hamster Wheel, Surviving Daily Hustle. We have Crushed, Sad, Broken, Feeling Alone. Projected, Future, Days, Weeks, Months. So, Capricorn... I feel like um, for some of my Capricorns out there, there was an ending of some sort that happened between you and this person, but you chose to have that mind over matter mindset or mind frame for yourself, just keep keeping it pushing, really focusing on what will get you ahead because feelings, we do need to take time and process them and reflect and really feel what or how we feel, but feelings come and go so you might have taken into consideration that this feeling i'm feeling if if it was more of this crushed energy we have sad broken feeling alone i won't be feeling like that forever and maybe there was something recent to made you feel like you felt or recent something recent that caused you to feel this way and it could have been dealing with a person who did not or keep you happy someone who did not fulfill your expectations so there may have been an ending of some sort Capricorn but I feel like you embodied that mind over matter uh, mindset for yourself and we have hamster wheel surviving daily hustle I feel like you're you're keeping track of what you need to do for yourself as far as getting ahead staying in that momentum or maybe that routine for yourself Capricorn so still focusing on maybe your finances or work, your career, or maybe things to just keep you busy to take your mind off of this. As far as like new love offers Capricorn, maybe you're, you're just so into what you're doing at the moment that you're not even trying to focus on anyone new. We have projected future days, weeks, months. This could be significant in a few different ways, Capricorn. I, I do feel like you're constantly looking ahead of you. That's why you're in this routine and you're balanced so you can get ahead eventually. Um, maybe you're, you're focused on your future, but maybe there is something coming towards you or that's awaiting you. You just have to get through this time. 
of maybe trial and tribulation that you're going through does not have to be the case capricorn but let's see what specific messages we have for capricorn can we please get a few specific messages for capricorn when it comes to love we'll take this card what energy is coming towards capricorn please and what energy do we need to know about so let's see what we have we have these two cards We'll take both of these. Let's just get two more specific messages for Capricorn, please. What else do we need to know about when it comes to love and what is making its way towards Capricorn? When it comes to love, please. Okay, Capricorn. So we have our first few cards. Once again, please only take what resonates for you. Let's see what we have, Capricorn. We have, I took it personal because I would never do that to you. I'll be serious once this becomes realistic. I always cared about you more. We have, we can fix this now, I won't wait forever. I believe in the perfect moment. And I do not care about what anyone else thinks or says. Okay, Capricorn. So I, I feel like this energy I went through may apply to how or the energy we have now. And it might fit into the overall energy of this connection. I feel like you were dealing with a person who just was not really as down as you are, Capricorn. And I feel like you were not so much skeptical of like this person and their intentions and what they I feel like you weren't skeptical of their plan from the beginning I feel like something showed showed you that you you need to watch out for this person maybe they were immature at one moment or they did something that really hurt you and it made you feel like you you don't care as much as I do just because I would never put you in that situation. And these cards do somewhat pinpoint something like that happening. Um, but I, I feel like this person really, or not really, but they showed their true colors at some point. And because you were maybe really feeling this person, you were loving them or you loved them, you maybe gave them the benefit of the doubt or you maybe let something go. You, you let something slip because you didn't want to believe it the first time around but I feel like they they did prove that to you where they really stood here so that's maybe why you're just putting all your energy into things that will get you ahead for yourself individually um maybe there were some people who told you about this person like whether they they would be aware or beware of this person or they're not so much good for you or maybe there was some gossip surrounding this connection we have I do not care about what anyone else thinks or says I feel like this is your energy Capricorn ultimately you're going to do what you want to do um, because you you're keeping your best interest at heart and also just considering like what you want for yourself like no one's going to get in the way of that just just because they feel indifferently so um, say people were telling you to be careful with this person. I, I feel like if you didn't have any red flags that were raised, and like why would you even pay those people any any attention? Or maybe like you you heard what these other people were saying, but you didn't take it to heart because um, you were with the, you were dealing with this person one on one. Like they wouldn't know what you know. So with all that being said, Capricorn, maybe there were some people trying to warn you about this person. But we have, um, I took it personal because I would never do that to you. I feel like this is your energy, Capricorn, and I feel like this is maybe why you experience this energy with the crushed card, if this has been resonating with you. And this maybe really showed you where you two stood with one another or this really set the the energy of this connection because what this person may have done it it set the tone it set the energy and it it made you 
realize how much you're doing for them and how, how little they're doing for you. Also with I always cared about you more. I feel like maybe you took some time or you had some time to really think about and look at everything you've done for this person and how maybe they only reciprocated when you were doing stuff for them. But when it's the other when it's the other way around they cannot be found or they're MIA. So I always cared about you more. And I do apologize if this energy does resonate for you Capricorn things will get better in time just put I like to say put the love into yourself in the meantime and always we have we can fix this now I won't wait forever for some of my Capricorns out there I feel like you did give this person a chance or an opportunity to make it right with you but I, I feel like if you did you, you started to see that maybe this person didn't deserve it and you pulled away. We do have, I'll be serious once this becomes realistic. I, I do feel like whatever happened, you can't take this person seriously anymore. Or maybe you, you see right through them. Like what they try to do, it's it's really not enough. And it's not like you're, you're, you're giving them less credit than what they deserve. It's... It's like whatever happened, it really exposed, <coughs> excuse me, it really exposed this person's true colors, Capricorn. So maybe it just felt like, like the questions you had after the fact was what was the point? What was the reason of all of this? Let's see what else we have for Capricorn, please. What else do we need to know? I'll read this as an extra message. When I see you, I see happiness all around. Let's get two more messages for Capricorn. We'll actually get one more Capricorn. Okay, so I pulled two extras. So let's get into this energy. We have, you matter to me, don't think less than that. I love that you have a mind of your own. It's rare these days. To have and experience your love is an honor. I'm afraid to make the first step because of what could go wrong. And my silence is not a reflection of how I feel towards you. I'm just not ready. So Capricorn, I feel like, and of course, only take this as it resonates for you. When If this has been resonating and if this person did do you wrong, I, you, you could have cut them off and went into that mind over matter. Like just still focusing on what you need to do for yourself. But for some of my Capricorns out there, like... Let me try to describe this so it's not confusing. I feel like you may have went your separate way completely. You still have love for this person, but you weren't about to give this person any any second chance or any other chance. But for my other Capricorns, I feel like you just wanted to give it time because of the love that you did have for this person. And it could have been any type of like hurt that res that went down it doesn't always have to be another person capricorn just something that did hurt you that this person did so um with this i believe in the perfect moment card i didn't go into this but i i feel like you were maybe or you are optimistic in divine timing maybe for this person and you to reconcile with one another with this projected card maybe you feel like in the future something can happen again something will take off but this could also just be for you capricorn like you know you're on to bigger and better things you just have to keep at it we have you matter to me don't think less than that i feel like this is honestly your energy capricorn um but you might be ghosting this person ignoring them because they no longer deserve access to your energy because of what they did to you we have to have and experience your love is an, is an honor. I feel like this is this person's message to you, Capricorn, how they feel. Um, you doing what you can to support them, to help them, to help them get 
to help them get away or not get away get ahead and also just your attention to detail and really putting in that effort making time for this person because you love them I love that you have a mind of your own it's rare these days I feel like this is how this person feels about you Capricorn um, because one thing about you they they see it as king of pentacles or even queen of pentacles energy just someone they know is going to be a provider for them someone who will take care of them um, someone who is already thinking outside the box someone who has it down for themselves they might not let you know their plan but you already know that they have a plan because of how they approach things how they get into things so i i feel like this is this person's energy how they feel towards you all right so we have my silence is not a reflection of how i feel towards you i'm just not ready i feel like this is also your energy capricorn for those those who are maybe open to reconciling or they would still like for this to work out but maybe time needs to be a factor in this still having love for this person but not really sure how you want to go about this anymore and i'm afraid to make the first step because of what could go wrong could be a mutual energy here if this has been resonating with you this person has hurt you they might be stalling on trying to apologize not trying to apologize because they should apologize but they might as far as like trying to get back together they it's like they know the impression they they've made already towards you um and then as far as your energy capricorn um i feel like you don't want to step into like a trap with this person if you do take them back let's see what sign you might be dealing with capricorn we have sagittarius let's get another sign for capricorn please sun moon rising venus Sagittarius again, Pisces, let's get one more sign please for Capricorn, and Taurus, so we have Taurus, Pisces, and Sagittarius, all right Capricorn, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today, as always, I appreciate the love and support, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time, bye.